is CBS 2 News. Hello, I'm Erica Sargent with CBS Chicago. Here are the stories making headlines at this hour. Pregnant Chicago postal worker Kiara Coles has been missing since October. Earlier today, loved ones urged anyone with information about her mysterious disappearance to come forward. They're also hoping the public won't forget about her. This is a photo of Cole. She was 26 years old and three months pregnant when she vanished October 2nd. Coles was last seen in this surveillance video near 81st and Vernon in Chatham. She was walking past her car in her Postal Service uniform, even though she had been called in sick for the day. Her father says he's desperate for help. As of right now, there are any new updates. Um, from my understanding, they have run against a brick wall. If anybody have any information concerning Miss Kiara Coles, the boss, please reach out to your proper authorities and pass along the information. If not, you can reach out to me directly, Joseph Coles on Facebook. Cole's father says he's in constant contact with police investigating the case. He says Cole's baby was due last month. Detectives have said they suspect foul play. Police are looking for two people who might have information about a deadly stabbing on the red line. These are surveillance photos of a woman and man wanted for questioning. Saturday afternoon, 54-year-old Troy Johnson was stabbed to death after getting into an argument with another man on a red line train. His attacker got off at Cermak and ran. If you recognize these two people, call Chicago police. Topping Money Watch, the marketing team at Amazon kicked off its prime day this morning with 48 hours of deals. The surge in Internet traffic, however, is also likely to attract scammers and thieves. To avoid fraudulent sites, experts say you should access Amazon or its competitors directly. Shoppers should also be wary of emailed coupons and scams with gift cards from Amazon and other companies. Other retailers are also offering special deals today to compete with Amazon. Well, now let's turn to meteorologist Mary Kay Kleiss for a look at our forecast. Hi, Mary Kay. Hi, Erica. It is a hot start to the work week. We've had 90 degrees even at Chicago's lakefront. You can see the circuit the remnants of Barry continue to creep northward. There is a connection to the tropics, a lot of low level moisture moving in. Our dew points are into the low 70s, so it feels very humid, very warm. Southern Illinois already getting rain from what's left of Barry. Our turn is coming, but probably closer to daybreak on Tuesday, especially south and along I 80. When we see showers, maybe a thunderstorm to start the day, and then maybe a midday break, but then in the afternoon, we'll see more showers or rumble of thunder as moisture from the tropics moves into the picture for us. So tonight, an isolated storm toward morning, a muggy 72 degree temperature. And then for tomorrow, scattered thunderstorms will be around about 87 for a high. I'm expecting that we stay in the 80s because of the cloud deck and the rain shower. So we'll go with 80 in Rensselaer, 83 in Portage, 85 in Gary, 84 degrees into Cal. Then we turn up the temperature and it could be dangerously hot here, especially Thursday through Saturday when the feels like temperature will be into the triple digits and the over Overnight lows will hold in the 80s, so it's very muggy, very warm. Storm chances are on Tuesday, and then Erica, it looks like on Thursday, but after that, just very steamy and very, very hot. Okay, thank you, Mary Kay. And for the latest headlines, day or night, head to CBSChicago.com. I'm Erica Sargent. Have a great day.